So in the last lesson, we looked at collections of notes that we found useful and effective against chord changes. We also noticed that far and away the most useful tones were actual chord tones, notes that were in the, in the rhythm guitar part. So on this next tune called I Ain't Got You, uh, we're going to look at a different set of chord changes and just focus on finding the chord tones. Just so we're oriented, it gives us a sense of the harmony, uh, and see where that can lead us in terms of raw material for improvising. So we'll listen to the track and check out the chords. So this is the top right here, F sharp minor. Just a three note chord. Goes to a D7, to a C sharp seven, back to the F sharp minor. And that whole A bar section repeats. D7, maybe D9, C sharp 7, F sharp minor again. Yeah. Here's the B section, a B minor 9, an A major 9, a D major 7, and then a C7 sharp 9, and back to F sharp minor. All right, so now we know the chord progression. Of course, chord tones, if you know how to play the chords, you basically know where the chord tones are. We got an F sharp right there, F sharp right there. Of course, you may know this is an F sharp minor, but it's really critical to know the actual names of all the other notes that are sounding too. We have all these notes. Basically, the notes in an F sharp minor triad are F sharp, a and C sharp and they're all in there we have a D7 chord four, it's a four note chord D F sharp A C a C sharp 7 just a half step below C sharp well let's see yeah C sharp technically E sharp G sharp B and then back to the F sharp minor Okay, the the bridge chords is a B minor nine. It's got the root, the seventh, the minor third, the fifth, and the ninth. There, we have the A major nine, the root, the major seventh, the major third, the fifth, the ninth, D major seven. That would be if we go in one, three, five, seven order. D, F sharp, A, C sharp. C7, C sharp 7, sharp 9. That's only got four, four notes, but C sharp, we, got, we could use the fifth maybe or the sharp 5. Those are details we'll get into. But C sharp 7, sharp 9, and then back to the F sharp minor. So I think it would be useful to actually just get used to playing through the, listen to the chord change, loop, loop the chord changes, and find every third and play it on the downbeat. You know, get really good at doing that. Like just every time the chord changes, hit the third. And then do it again every time the chord changes, hit the fifth. Uh, and do the same thing with the seventh and maybe mix it up. Do, do one time through where you're hitting the thirds on, I mean, first chord maybe hit a third, second chord hit the fifth. And just, just to sort of get really fast at this so that you, uh, you see where things are and mostly so that your ear gets used to the sound of these chord tones because if you're going to create music from the inside out you want to be able to hear those tones really well because that's where your effective notes are so now I'd like to call up that track again and I'll demonstrate aiming for the third on the downbeat of every chord change and the second time through the form I'll I'll just get a little looser and play I'll try to stick to chord tones as much as I can and just show you how inside they sound and, and how, how, you know, I think you could, you'll be able to hear uh, how they'll be useful raw material. 
top of the third. The we got them everywhere. A third of the D is it? F sharp. E sharp. So that's that's something to practice. Try try different registers. it up a little. All notes in the chord. 